Okay, so this video is going to show you how to put the face on the front of the stuffy using um, the Cricut. If you ordered the pieces from my website or if you um, if you did it yourself. So it's going to have three different parts. Um, you're going to want to heat your iron. If you just have a normal iron, I would say put it on high. Make sure you don't have any steam or water in it. If you have a heat press, I put it on the middle setting. I use this little Cricut um, heat press, which I love. Um, it's perfect for, I find it really good for sewing and whatnot and all my projects. So you're going to want to do this. So you're going to do each layer separately. So you have your little cheeks. So you can line them up to see how you want them. Your little cheeks. Your, well, actually, I'm going to put the cute little eyes on first. You're going to want to put your cheeks on and then your little eye whites will go on at the end and so you're just going to line it up kind of how you would like it to look and try and get in the middle so you're going to do one layer at a time so i'm going to start with the eyes and the mouth so i have it how i want it i'm going to keep it there i'm going to take the heat press and i'm just going to hold it down on it for about 30 seconds so you can time it. I um, generally know how long because I'm uh, I've done this a lot. But if you're new, just maybe set a timer on your phone. So you just hold it down for about thirty seconds. You can move it around a bit if you want. Just covering it all up. And there you go. So now you have to wait for it to cool. Not too long. Don't wait too long. Just wait for it to cool. Um, it will come off if you if you don't uh, let it cool long enough. And if you find it is coming off, just kind of put it back on and then put your heat, uh, your heat press or your iron on it again. So you just have to wait a second for that to cool. And then you will be able to peel it off. It's a little harder on the fleece because it's uh, not as flat. So it looks kind of like it's coming off, but it should be fine. So the next one, you're gonna wanna put the next layer. I'm going to do the little cheeks, but make sure, um, so I've lined up the cheeks. So keep this piece, the piece that you just took off, and you have to put it back on top of this part so that you don't accidentally melt the heat transfer vinyl. So just that just protects it. So um, mine's a little far apart, so I have to do them separately. So I just hold it on there for about 30 or so seconds. And then I move it to the other cheek. And then I move it over. I do apologize for all of the gray in this. I just realizing that there's a lot of gray. <laughs> so yeah, make sure you have some sort of heating pad or your ironing board underneath or you're gonna damage the surface. Okay, so there we're, we have the little cheeks down and we've protected this part. We're just gonna wait a minute till it cools off for a sec. You can take this layer off, but again, keep it because you're gonna need it. To protect your layers and just give it a minute see if it's gonna come off oh yeah it's gonna come off easy so keep this piece of plastic as well because you don't want to ruin it and so one thing I didn't say um, sorry at the beginning is make sure that the shiny side is up so this is kind of a more matte side it's hard to tell and this is the shiny side so the shiny side goes up and you can kind of feel which uh, which layer is on, like you can kind of feel the texture of that, that goes on the, the bottom so that it comes off. So the shiny layer up, I should have said that at the beginning. Okay, so we're gonna line up the little eyes and then we're gonna put this again on top of everything because you don't want to ruin it. And we are also going to put this on top and we are gonna hold it on top of the eyes. You don't have to do these again, obviously, that's just there for protection. You're going to want to hold it for 30 seconds. Okay. 
And then you take it off and give it just a minute. You can take off the top layers that were just protection. So this, now that you're done, you can get rid of them. You just needed them for protection. Although if you want to, as you can see, you might want to iron the whole thing so that your face doesn't look as funny. If you can see mine kind of look, you can see exactly where I pressed it. Although if you have a bigger press, you won't be able to tell as much. I probably should have used the bigger one, but I like this one that's always on my desk and convenient. Okay, so now you're just gonna rip that off and you have your cute little cat face and you're ready to sew and do the next step.